there's two types of pain. There's the pain of being stuck yes. and feeling stuck. And for some of our younger listeners, they may not have reached that point to your earlier point. They may yeah. not have reached the pain of feeling stuck because they just keep growing and it doesn't really feel like they're spinning their wheels. But for those of us who are early, late adulthood, we've been through some things and that pain of feeling stuck often is the external force that leads to transformation. Now, there's pain that comes with transformation too. Oh yeah. There's pain in the gym. There's gonna be pain <laughs> of failure as you start working on yourself, whether it's improving your social skills, trying to boost your emotional intelligence. There's going to be pain along with self-development. Well, there's a few more that I wanna put in that box. Okay. Right? There's the pain of the mistakes that you will inevitably make that you have to deal with, right? Yeah. And there's also the pain of the numerous endeavors that fail that you're going to have to go on. And then there's also the pain of, of dealing and knowing all of your bad habits. All right. So we're throwing the, all of those in a box. There's a lot of work to be done there. However, all those can be used. They're not for nothing. Right. They can be motivators. And which one are we going to choose? Are we going to choose the pain of transformation or are we going to choose the pain of being stuck? Some of us reach a point where the pain of being stuck is so unbearable, we just move forward and make the change. Some of us are struggling to figure that out. Which one do you choose? And the moment you realize that you're going through pain in either case, it makes it so much easier to choose the pain associated with growth. And in choosing this pain in order to grow, you, you have to admit and start with the presupposition that you are f f just flawed throughout and you're going to continue to be flawed throughout fears, insecurities, inadequacies that, that all of us have to deal with. That is not a, that is not a, comfy place to start from. In fact, that's a terrifying place from a, come from. Because if you start from there, then you have to look at a very long road <laughs> ahead of you. And who wants to do that? However, as, as long as you continue to, to ignore this fact and, and, and ignore this road, then each day is going to get progressively worse. Yes. Now, Viktor Frankl, the founding father of logotherapy and the author of a phenomenal book, Man's Search for Meaning, writes, in some way, suffering ceases to be suffering at the moment it finds a meaning, such as the meaning of a sacrifice. That is why man is even ready to suffer on the condition to be sure that his suffering has meaning. So let's unpack that a little bit. Right? Yes, let's do we have to understand pain is inevitable. We are gonna be faced with this choice and the avoidance of pain is only gonna to lead to more pain, right? It's a, it's a check that always comes due. That bill is always due yep. and you're not going to avoid it. Agreed. But when you attach meaning to that pain, right? It's for a greater purpose. You now are supercharged to power through it. But if we don't attach meaning to the pain, well, all of a sudden it becomes suffering. And this is where things get a little bit difficult. And this is where philosophy, I think, still reigns king and, 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 and has, has some hold. So let me set this up. If we did go ahead and decide that we're inadequate, we need to just get on the work and we have this long road ahead of us, how are you going to jump into that road without a force or your emotions carrying you through. It's a very, it's, it's, it's this uphill Sisyphus boulder up the hill that is, it's never going to, it's never going to end. And Sisyphus's whole I, the thing is in finding meaning and pushing this up the hill. His daily routine of pushing that rock up the hill becomes his meaning. Now, this, the, the meaning part of this is where I think philosophy and religion can come into play. Unfortunately, I, religion, it doesn't work for everybody. And there's some holes in that. And, and it does work for some. And what's where I'm at now is that, Hey, 
it is if religion works for you if it's the motivator if it can push you through this long slog and this boulder up the hill fantastic i have now at the point where i don't think it makes anyone less or any more it's what works for them absolutely and so for the other folks that it doesn't work for you're gonna have to figure this this meaning out you're gonna have to put this together and it needs to be larger than yourself it has to be the 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 meaning cannot be for you it has to be to society it has to be right uh, it just it has your emotions have to be engaged in this the the point of it needs to be large enough where your small exhibitions your small contributions are are able to be set into a i guess a larger picture where that at the end of the day you can feel good about what you've con- contributed to this large cause and that's why we're so big on being in service to others. Yeah. Being a high value person who's generous with their time, with their energy, with their thoughts and feelings. That is how we can counter this suffering.